meteorologist Siobhan Anders. We've got our dramatic Ooh. weather open here this morning because we are expected quite a bit of uh, wild weather. It ourselves. is definitely getting close to the springtime and Mother Nature's showing her stuff. So uh, unfortunately, it's so sad to see all that tornado damage. Um, we do have a chance though for some severe storms even here in San Antonio and South Texas. As we get through this afternoon and going into this evening, more rain is expected through the weekend. So uh, we will keep you updated, of course, if we have any watches or warnings that are going to be occurring. But in the meantime, Time. We do have rain starting to fall on radar. We also are seeing a little bit of patchy fog across portions of the hill country. So it is a very busy morning in the weather department. We are going to be watching it. It's going to definitely be a roller coaster ride as we go through the next uh, couple of days, actually. So this morning we are going to see the showers. There is a chance for a few storms mixed in. It's already starting to show up on radar a little bit. So if you have to be somewhere this morning, make sure you uh, leave a few minutes early. We're going to see a little lull in the sh showers and storms. By mid morning, it'll kind of die off slightly into early afternoon. Then between 3 p.m. and midnight tonight, cold fronts making its way into the area. That's when we had definitely could see some watches and warnings and also expecting some severe storms as we go through the afternoon into the evening. So unfortunately, the rain is not going to end after the front rolls through. We have more rain, heavy rain expected again Saturday and Sunday, and we could see another round of storms roll through the area through the weekend. So here it is for you. Local radar you can see we're beginning to see a few areas of thunderstorm activity uh, up around the hill country also portions of southern uh, areas near Pleasanton we also Tilden has been seeing some heavy activity so Carn City you also saw a storm roll through the area in the last few minutes San Antonio we're seeing light activity but beginning to see a little bit of activity popping up that's getting a little heavier uh, so if you are traveling or going to be through these areas definitely going to have to run into some of this Tilden looks like you guys are going to get uh, a, a a thunderstorm roll through the area in the next few minutes. So uh, be ready. You're going to hear it out on the roofs and also hear the thunder and hear, uh, see the lightning. So 72 degrees in San Antonio right now, upper 60s up in hill country. So upper level low, couple of cold fronts. It's all coming together in the next three to five days. And that's what's going to set us up with some severe weather. So again, this afternoon, we are expecting some severe weather. Could see some large hail some damaging winds, and also some very heavy downpours could cause a little bit of localized flooding. As we go through the evening hours, it will stay with us. Right now, our outlook for severe storms is at a two, uh, so we are definitely a pretty good widespread cone that some of us are going to see some of those thunderstorms. So here it is. Over the next four days, we are going to get the welcome needed rain, but uh, could cause some flooding in some areas, anywhere from one to four inches of rain expected in our area here in San Antonio, maybe three and a half up to four inches as well. So cold fronts arrive one today, this afternoon and evening. Then we cool down for Saturday, 72 degrees. Sunday, another frontal boundary rolls through. Another push of some showers and thunderstorms are possible. High of 73. Then the temperatures drop down a little bit. We're in the 60s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But the rain is going to stay with us. We still have an upper level low that's going to continue kind of moving across the area. So it's not going to be ending after we get through Sunday. There's just more rain going to hang out at least for the next five to seven days. So here it is, our next weather maker. Tonight, of course, is our window of uh, possibility of some severe storms. Tomorrow, more rain is expected across the area. So outdoor plans. I know it's the last week in a spring break. I also know, of course, we have a lot of activities. The Fest of Tales has been postponed that was supposed to take place this weekend because of our chances for storms and rain. So uh, make some backup plans if you had any outdoor plans for the weekend. So here it is for you. 80% chance of rain. We're seeing rain and storms on radar high of 80 degrees. The rest of the zones will see the rain as well. Uh, tonight, here comes that chance for some severe weather. Could see some watches and warnings issued across the area. We will keep you updated. Of course, you can always check it out on the web. We'll keep you updated on there as well. So here it is for you. Looks like St. Patty's Day. Mm, Going to be a little bit on the soggy side. We'll be right back.